But for Christians who celebrate the birth of Jesus, the holiday holds very special meeting. Services are starting today for many churches, including Connection Point Christian Church in Brownsburg. Lead Pastor John Dickerson joining us live this morning with more on how they're celebrating and how you are welcome. Everyone's welcome. Good to see you, John. Yeah, good to see you, Angela. Absolutely. Okay, so what do you want people to know as far as if they want a place to worship, yeah. where can they go today? Yeah, well, we've got seven services at our Brownsburg location, mm -hmm. but one of the interesting things about Connection Point is it's an online church. So we actually have people from Colorado, from California who are regulars, and we've got thousands all around central Indiana. So people can watch. We've got people in Anderson, Carmel, Fishers, and just go to Connection Point with an E.org, yeah. ConnectionPoint.org, and you can watch any one of our seven services. Uh, or you can uh, come in person as well. Seven different yeah. services. I know that takes a lot out of the worship team who we're going to hear from in just a little bit and you. Um, it's so important, though, to talk about the reason yeah. for this season. What do you want people to know that maybe this will be the only time that they get to really think about um, their life and what Jesus yeah. means to them? Yeah, you know, it, it seems so simple, but this reminder that the word Christmas comes from a name, Jesus Christ. Now, I haven't always been a pastor. There was a time when I thought Christ was like Jesus' last name, like John Smith. Yeah. It turns out Christ is a title for the Messiah. And it's this idea that the God who made us would come into our world and would make a way for us to be free from death, have eternal life, free from the things that destroy our relationships. And that Savior Messiah would be called the Christ. So when we say Christmas, we're actually acknowledging the need for a Messiah. And I just think with all the hurt in the world right now, so many people grieving and sick and discouraged, we need this message more than ever. That it's, it's not a myth, it's not just a hope, it's a reality that there's a God who made us and he loved us enough to come into our world and anyone who believes in Jesus can have relationship with him. I think it's so fascinating for those that don't know your story that you were a journalist yeah. and someone who really studied learning about what truth is yeah. and that's something that you've written about in books too. Um, before we kind of move on and then hear from the worship team shortly, I think you kind of really touched on something that people are looking for hope. Yeah. What do you want people to know about how they can feel that hope again in their life? Yeah, oh that's so good. We need that, don't yeah. we? I think we, uh, we all want the best of Christmas, that being surrounded by people we love, the joy, the peace, a warm meal, mm -hmm. presents, mm -hmm. all those things are really an expression of the heart of God. He designed us to be surrounded in love, and ultimately, God wants that relationship with every person. And one of the things I didn't know once I came to believe that there is a God is that we don't have to pay money, we don't have to do good deeds to get right with God. Uh, when Jesus came to earth, he did those things for us. So when we simply believe in him, uh, we get made right with God. And so that's, that's the source to joy. That's the bridge to the source of the universe where life and peace and hope all come from.